in the previous video we have show, we have showed that how we make a notifications as marking color with red when the notification is new okay so in this case we are going to try to do do something that if we click on a notifications the new notification so it will be turned as a white again okay so and this will be marked as read so <clears throat> to do that just go to our code and make simple things just make an anchor tag here so just make that a slash a okay so we are just to anchor it with this page okay with some id so in this case we just pass that um, our notification f in this case and we need to pass our id to measure our notifications is read or not so just echo out our value and id just go to semicolon here okay so let's see if this happens or not just go to page resource and then if we see that yep we have got our notifications id here just see one and four okay so now what we are going to do we just grab this as a get request in our this page so to do that so just make it if conditions here that will be called set our get is not tip okay so what will be it will check that if our notif variable is set or not so notif not notf okay so notf in this case so our notf variable is set or not we just check it and if it is checked so we need to run another query that query we can call that as a read query <coughs> okay so read query uh, we just we just make this query run here directly query and then we can just update the table uh, update table notifications I think it will be called update table and table name. Let's check it out uh, before making any error. So the update statement, update SQL will be better. Okay, so the first link says update table name, you update column name, and where position. So yes, update table name here and set. Our column name is equals what? So our read n will be zero. Okay. So where we need to change that? Where our ID is equals our notification ID. So get this notification ID here. So n ID. Just get this notification variable not uh, and pass it through here so, mm, ID. yep okay so if we pass it here and we just need to redirect our page so just put this thing here header will be location where into our index page index.php PHP. okay i think that will be done our stuff so let's go refresh this we have notifications and this is clickable so if we click that it will be refresh and it is going to say it is two so why 
if we refresh our page there is nothing changed all right so we just <clears throat> doing something wrong in our query i think Mm, read n is equals uh, did i mistaken with our uh, query here <laughs> let's see this again yep i think i have done again a mistake here. there will be no bracket over here okay so read n equals zero so put it put this in a quotation so it will not affect it update notifications Mm, yep I think it will be alright so let's reload this page again click it yep we have done our things that the notification is one and our it will be turned as green so if we do this a uh, little decoration here just put this a tag here also so then if there will be more you know more visible refresh it yep now this are looking so great so if we are going to our previous page this is our post page okay so if we post another thing so the final post okay so we just post it the posted and I refresh it we are getting the second notifications okay so if we click this notification then it turn me on one <coughs> And if you click this notification, so no notifications. Okay, great, great, guys. We have done our letter notification system with our raw PHP with no advanced stuff. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you see you in the next episode.